How's it going everyone? So now that iOS 18.4 has been released on the market for quite some time now, there's some hidden features that I discovered that we overlooked. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and run through 10 cool hidden features that you could do on iOS 18.9. Now the first one has to be in Control Center. You see these ambient music notes by long holding, you, you know, you get to this page. If you tap on one of these notes, you have this new menu that allows you to switch between different playlists that Apple has selected. So of course, in case you're new, uh, basically if you hit add control and what I like to do is just type in music, you have the ambient mode section in case you don't know, which covers well-being, productivity, chill, and sleep. So if you have a hard time sleeping, you can toggle that one. And when you tap on it, it'll begin playing soothing sleeping music which does not require an Apple subscription. But an overlooked feature was the fact that by just simply long holding and selecting, they didn't mean to do that, and selecting one of these icons, you have access to a playlist. And you can also include your personal playlist from here as well, if you want to include some songs or some show music that you think it's a much better option than the default ones. But the default ones are indeed free as there's no subscription for Apple Music required just to have access to this. So that's kind of cool. Now the next cool thing can be located in the settings app. In the settings app, we scroll down to apps and we search up mail. I have a ton of apps, it's quicker if I get to it this way. By selecting mail, and if you simply scroll down to this column over here, there's a new delete or move message action. You see by default, it will show you the next message when you delete an email address. But if you select don't select a message now when you delete it it's going to make you stay on that page you know so as an example if we launch our my mail app and i just go ahead and select one email right if i tap archive or trash it just takes us back to our mail app so if i go back and select the other option this is the one we had by default and go back in mail and now i selected another email but this time i'm going to hit the trash icon sorry it might be blurry it has personal information here i don't want to expose but you probably did notice that it immediately took me to the next email address, the next in my email. So that's what this allows you to do. I kind of do like the don't select a message option so I don't lose track where I'm at. Now the next new tab that Apple secretly added can be located in your voice memo app. In the voice memo app, by selecting this and you go down, there's a new reset identifier. If you read the description, it reads to reset the identifier, used to report aggregate app usage statistics to Apple. The identifier will be reset the next time you open the voice memo. So a bit privacy settings right there that they gave us. Now along with this iOS 18.4 update, we got a lot of useful tools added to the shortcut app. And one of which is Apple gave us the ability to create a switch search engine for Safari tool. As you'll be able to find it in the search app and then just type in Safari. And in the top one where it says Safari settings, click on here and then tap on autofill use and you'll see a new search engine tab. And from here, just select the search engine and you have these five to choose from. So if I want my search engine to be Bing and earn some of those Bing points, I could just tap done. And now by simply tapping on here, now if I open up Safari and just search up something like home, just home for no reason, you'll notice our search engine is Bing. So with this new tool, you can now just quickly just go into your settings if we exit the home menu or in our apps library and we type in Safari and click on Safari where it says search engine. You no longer have to toggle between here as now it's a shortcut, which means you can use the action button on the side here to be programmed to activate the shortcut button, which can be programmed to toggle the uh, Siri search shortcut right here. And you have these selections to choose from if you want to remap it. In addition to that, another shortcut app that was also given to us in the shortcut app is Open Conversation. I have it already set up over here as I was testing it out earlier. But by selecting here, this will quickly open a conversation you were just having with that person. So instead of manually going into the message app and then select the person right there, you can program it as a shortcut for your side button where you simply tap and it will immediately launch your conversation that you were having with that person. So to set this up, it's as easy as simply just going into your conversation. So I'm gonna start fresh. I'm also put my device on focus or do not disturb mode. Just put it on work real quick. Group chat spamming me. 
And we're going to go ahead and delete this. Select, highlight, delete. Tap plus. Just type in conversation or just com for short. And scroll down, you'll see an open conversation. From here, you could manually select a contact and then just tap done. And that's how you can create a shortcut now on iOS 18.4, where you could just tap the action button and it would just resume the conversation you were having with somebody else instead of having to go into the messages and then select the contact information. So if it's like your spouse, you want to get a hold of them quickly all the time, you could just do that. Now Siri also got two, well three, because uh, Apple Intelligence is now compatible on the iPhone 15, but two for iPhone 16 users, as well as like a little third bonus. You see, by tapping down here, you know we have access to Apple Intelligence. If you don't know what to say, this little icon over here, this pop-up, actually does allow you to interact and will give you suggestions showing you what Apple Intelligence can do. In addition to that, if you have an iPhone 16, you understand that by long holding on the side, this will activate Apple Intelligence. Apple gave us a setting that we can now enable to disable that if you just want camera functionality instead. By going into your system settings, on your main homepage, if you scroll down to camera, right here, in the camera tab on the top, select camera control. And from here, scroll down where it says launch visual intelligence. This is where you can disable that. So now if I long code, it's not gonna do anything. And then if we lock our phone, by long coding and going to the customization menu, by tapping customize, tap on lock screen, and remove one of these icons. If we type in Apple intelligence, we also got a quick shortcut for both type talk to Siri, type to Siri, or visual intelligence right here. So now they gave us quicker access to, well, I forgot to save it, but Apple intelligence stuff. The uh, camera icon could be Apple intelligence if you like it. Now, moving on, we are gonna go ahead and cover the photo app now. By launching the photo app, if you scroll all the way at the bottom where it says utility, Apple did give us the ability to finally edit this and rearrange it to your personal preference. So if you wanna move like your screenshots or your receipts to be up front, you can or your most recent saves, you can now click and drag it and prioritize the ones you see and want to see on top versus the default one that Apple would give us typically. Now you have the ability to finally rearrange that. But there you guys have it. Those are a handful of hidden features that we all overlooked that's available on iOS 18.4. Let me know in the comment section which one of these are your favorites. And if we missed some, feel free to comment down below for the rest of us as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And before you click off, check out these two videos right there on the side if you want to be up to speed on what's available on CarPlay in terms of cool hidden features. And underneath that is the latest update that's available on a pair of AirPods. Doesn't matter if you have the Pros or the regular AirPod 4s or even the Airport AirPod Max. I cover all the new changes in that video as well. As well as some old ones too. Basically it's a basically it's a complete guide of everything you need to know about AirPods. Thank you so much for watching.